My name is Mimi Windsor and I'm an artist. Today we're going to be creating a plaster cast sculpture using a balloon inspired by Maria Bartoshova and her explorative ways of making. Influenced by playing with her young daughter, Maria would pour plaster into rubber balloons. She would then push, pull or submerge the balloons in water to create unusual shapes. Some resemble seeds, raindrops or eggs, and others look like parts of a human body. When you look at Maria's work, what does it remind you of? She was interested in our different senses and how they can help us experience art. In a series of workshops with blind and partially sighted children, Maria encouraged everybody to explore some of her sculptures using movement and touch. As we do our workshop today, I'd like you to take a moment to close your eyes and have a think about what the material feels like in your hands. What does it smell like? Maybe you'll feel it heat up as it begins to set. See if you can notice any particular sensations in our workshop today. So let's get started on our sculpture. You will need two cups plaster of Paris, a measuring cup or jug, one cup of cold water, maybe a splash extra if you're going to be adding coloured paint to the recipe, a large Ziploc bag, a plastic water bottle, scissors, a party balloon, a stopwatch or phone timer, some acrylic paint. Don't forget, plaster can be messy, so it's a good idea to wear an apron and protect the surface you're going to be using. Also, it can be handy to have a parent or caregiver to help you out, as some parts are a bit fiddly. Okay, so let's get started on our sculptures. It's time to grab your Ziploc bag, and we're going to open it up, and grab whatever colour paint you've decided to work with. I'm going to choose pink. Now we're going to squeeze about a heat tablespoon of paint into the bag. There we go, maybe a little bit more. Shut that and grab your water. This is your one cup of water going into the bag. Now shut the bag again. And we're going to give this a really good mix together. You basically want all of the paint and the water to be mixed very evenly throughout. It feels quite nice. Widget. Okay, that's looking good. Open up your bag again and grab your plaster. So it's two cups of plaster going in and the second one going in. Just be careful not to breathe in any of the dust that might come out. So just slowly shut your bag again. Now this is a fun bit. We're going to give it a good knead together. And you want to make sure there's no lumps. You basically want it to mix evenly throughout the water and the plaster. So this is a little bit thick, so I'm going to just add a splash more water to the recipe. Sometimes that happens if you've added paint, but you can do it just with plaster if you'd like to. Just a dash. Okay, then shut your bag again. And give it a good mix. You want to spend about a minute mixing this. Just make sure it's not in any of the corners and there's no lumps. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to tilt the bag so that all the plaster goes to one side. And I'm going to snip the corner off so that it's like a piping bag. It's almost like making a cake when you're doing icing. Now it's time to grab your water bottle. This is the bit where it can get a bit messy. If you've got a parent or caregiver to hand, if they can hold the bottle, that can really help. This can be a bit tricky, this part. Here we go. Oh, it's coming out. Okay, and I just slowly transfer it, giving it a good squeeze. Might get some funny noises happening too. It's almost like an ice cream machine or something. Once that's in the bottle, we can just throw this away. Don't put any of it down the sink. Then it's time to grab your balloon and you're going to blow it up. Not all the way, just about three quarters of the way. Now, ask your parent or caregiver to help you with this part because it's quite fiddly. You want to put the balloon over the top of the bottle. Then you flip it upside down and we're going to transfer what's in the bottle into the balloon in short controlled bursts. Now this part can be messy, just be really careful to take the balloon off the top. Some air is going to try and escape and it could spray you with plaster. There we go.
Now, just very carefully release the air from the balloon. What you want is for all the plaster to go right up to the neck of the balloon so there's not as many air bubbles. Okay, and then we're going to tie it off. You might get a bit of plaster on your hands at this point, and that's okay. You could just wipe it on some kitchen roll or give them a little wash. Now the fun starts. You've got about seven to ten minutes to play with this and do whatever you want. You could push your fingers in the centre like a belly button or just squeeze it in your fist, give it a good squidge. You could roll it into a sausage or into an egg shape. You could try hanging it up from a string and see the effects gravity take on the balloon. You could try wrapping some string around it to contort it that way. You kind of tie a knot, almost like you're wrapping up a present with a ribbon. Okay, so I can feel it's got really thick and it's starting to set. I've got to start thinking of my final shape now. So I'm going to squidge my fingers in like this, something like this. You want to think of a comfortable position because you're going to be holding this for about five minutes. As it starts to go off, you'll be able to feel it heat up slightly, which is a really nice sensation. And if you touch your fingers on the surface just slightly, you'll know when it's got hard enough to release them and it will still stay in the same shape. So I think mine's about there now. I'm going to start moving my fingers. If you're not sure, you can test it. And if you feel it move at all, you need to just hold it a bit longer. So here we go. I'm going to take my fingers out. Okay, and there we go. So I'm just going to pop that down now. I'm going to set a timer for 30 minutes. So what you do now is up to you. Okay, now it's time to unwrap your artwork. So I pop it on the table and I'm going to pull the neck of the balloon up. I'm going to gently snip here. Wow. And I'm going to start peeling this back to reveal my artwork. You might have to give another little snip along the way. But just gently pull it out. It's still quite soft, so you want to handle it quite carefully. Wow. Wow, look at that. There's so many interesting parts to it. I can see the neck of the balloon here or where I squished my thumb in. It can be really cool, actually, to put your fingers kind of how you held it when it was setting and feel how it feels like an extension of your body. It's best now to pop your sculpture down and leave it for about 24 hours to harden fully. So there you have it, your very own unique plaster cast sculpture. I hope you've enjoyed making today and using your senses. Don't forget to send your photo into Take Kids. We would absolutely love to see how yours turned out.